A couple of sailors were travelling across the Atlantic when a storm interrupted their travels overnight. When they woke up, they found themselves in Loxwelly. As they travelled past Fanny Lighthouse and McCamish Fort, they realised there was only one place they could be headed. Rathmullen. As they saw the pier becoming clearer in the distance, they felt a sense of calm and began to pay attention to what was going on around them. Families walking the beach, horses galloping along. They saw kayaks, paddle boards, kids flying kites, swimmers and fishermen, and stunning views. Rathmullen was already living up to all the stories they'd heard so far. They'd heard about the small seaside village in the story of the Flight of the Earls, and they'd heard plenty of stories about the Abbey, the Battery, and all about the food and drink and places to stay. But they hadn't heard the story of what being nestled on the shores of Loch Swilly really meant to those who used it most. So they decided to find out. First stop was the Sailing and Water Sports Club, which was set up around 12 years ago here in Rathmullen. Las Willey is, is fantastic for sailing because um, it's, it, if you can sail in Las Willey, you can sail anywhere in the world because it's, it's got a huge tidal range, uh, you've got, uh, you get a lot of wind here, conditions can be tough, so if you can, if you can manage to sail here, you can, you, you can sail anywhere. It's great when it's on your doorstep yeah. to be able to go and use it and, and partake in it, um, especially if you're from here. Yeah, it's exactly. great to get out there and to see it from another angle and to immerse yourself in, in that, that landscape out there. It's just it's, it's, uh, terrific. This is a big rib which is in here for the winter. Uh, we'll be taking it out to use in April, hopefully, if the weather's, if the weather's good. We use for New Year's Day swim for safety boat. We use it for, because it's a lot, it's a lot handier to put it the water. Well, during the summer we had maybe about 13 boats actually. Yeah, a good water. range of boats as well. Yeah. John mentioned the Pico there with Fivas. We have the, the bigger boats that can hold more than one person. It's, uh, it's a good, go. good variety yeah. of, uh, of boats. Out. One of the problems we have is that the, a lot of the people in the club are not actually from Rathmullen. And we would prefer to have much more people from Rathmullen actually involved in the club and much more uh, more children to be involved and uh, more kids to be involved. Uh, we have some, but we would love to see much more local participation in the, in, in the local club. When I was a kid, we didn't have the facility. I would have loved to see it when I was a kid, but uh, I grew up here in Rathmullen and uh, we didn't have that. And we were, you know, in those days, we, had, we were lucky to get on the water in a, in a barrel. <laughs> now, most days during the, during the summer, we can, we can go out. Uh, and the odd day you go out and it's, it's, it's choppy, but Reasonably, it's it's yeah. mostly it's it's plain sailing. And during the summer as well, we hold a lot of events. So it's not just about sailing. For example, uh, we support you know when the polar plunge, the uh, darkness into light. We put the boats on, on the water for that, which is beautiful. And you know, but New Year's Day swim. Like that. That. New Year's Day yeah. swim. We put out safety boats or regatta day. We organise yeah. a regatta day. So we have a lot of social events going on as well as the actual sailing. Um, and. Maybe me, like a lot of the other members, were more interested in, <laughs> in the, the social events rather than the actual sailing. Then they noticed a woman who was on her way for a swim. They decided to find out what Black Swally meant to her. I'd say I started about just around the beginning of the pandemic, and I would have started swimming every day from about June, July of that year. And it was really Breed Bar, I have to credit, for getting me and many, many others around here into swimming. And I've been swimming every day, really, practically every day since that. The sea is very important to me. I think it's something to do with water generally. Water is so important in our lives. It's essential. You know, from the very beginning, from our baptism, we use water. Our final rites, we use water to, to bless us. It's a very important symbol. And there's a sense of being at one with something much bigger than myself when I'm out in that ocean. And even though I'm not that far out, and I can see people and houses around me, you still have a great sense that you're a part of something much, much bigger and very powerful. We um, have started to turn to things that are natural, 
at, at our doorsteps, free of charge. And yeah, I think a lot, of, a lot more people are using the sea. Saturday and Sunday's down here at 10 o'clock. Breed Bar and Hurt Gang, and they're, they're just swimming, they're partying, they're bringing lovely cupcakes and brown breads and jams and teas and you name it, they bring it here. It's the place to be on a Sunday morning or Saturday morning at 10 o'clock. I'm thrilled about that I've kept up the habit and I know that it's like it's like um, giving yourself an injection of endorphins. It's you know giving yourself some a good message for your body, your mind, your soul. Um, every day I know that I've done something good for myself, and that's what keeps me motivated and that's what keeps me going. But honestly, every day I'm out there, I'm never saying I'm dying to get into this water. <laughs>
a lot of history. And it's beauty too. And what would Rathmullen be without it? Well, that's not even worth thinking about. <laughs>